Uh, hello again, and uh, here we are uh, with another video. This time we are going to see how to create an application that uh, can convert various uh, image types, uh, for example, a bitmap to JPEG or to uh, PNG uh, TIFF uh, or JPEG to PNG uh, or in reverse. Uh, there are many uh, image converter applications out there, uh, and now, well, you'll see how to create one of your own. Uh, it's uh, actually pretty uh, simple, uh, and the first thing that we need to do is to add uh, some headers uh, that will allow us to have support for JPEG and PNG. So by default, you don't need to include any extra headers to support bitmap, but for JPEG, you need to include uh, this uh, header here, and for PNG, this header here. Okay, so uh, the first thing is uh, how to create, uh, how to convert a bitmap to JPEG. And uh, I have here um, some bitmap. It's, it's some space image, right? But it, it is in, in bitmap format. So what I want is uh, for my application to be able to convert this uh, bitmap file into JPEG file. And uh, in order to do that, uh, well, once I click this button, Let's see what happens. Uh, we create a new tbitmap pointer and uh, we load that image from file. So we load a bitmap image into a tbitmap uh, object and then we create a JPEG uh, image object and we assign a bitmap to JPEG and simply save it to file. So this is pretty much what's important here just uh, assigning that bitmap to JPEG and then save it to file and uh, it will convert a bitmap to JPEG. Let's see. Okay, so uh, here is it. Uh, here is the space bitmap. If I say bitmap to JPEG, now he created a, a JPEG here. As you can see, a bitmap is uh, almost six megabytes while uh, JPEG is, is a lot smaller. So if I open the image, I can see that it's a valid image, right? This is the bitmap uh, and this is the JPEG. So pretty easy uh, to convert. Uh, like I said, you only load a bitmap into a tbitmap object and assign that bitmap to a JPEG object. Uh, it's similar if you want to uh, convert bitmap to PNG, uh, again, create a bitmap object, load that bitmap uh, from file, and then assign bitmap to, uh, in this case, it's a TIFF, but you can also assign it to PNG. So pretty much the same code, right? Just using different classes. In, in the first case, I used the JPEG image class uh, to convert to uh, JPEG. Uh, in the second case, I used the PNG image class to convert to PNG, and in the third uh, case, I used the um, graphics uh, with image uh, object to uh, convert to TIFF format. And if I run this again, now let's see. So we already saw bitmap to JPEG is here. If I want to uh, convert bitmap to PNG, now I got a PNG file. Uh, it's a bit larger than uh, a JPEG, but again, smaller than bitmap, and uh, it's a valid image. Now we can also convert it to TIFF, which should be the largest. Yes, it is. So this is the TIFF. Okay, and uh, uh, the conversion, uh, like I said, it's uh, pretty much the same uh, when you convert from bitmap to something, from bitmap to JPEG. Uh, PNG or, or uh, uh, TIFF. So uh, the only difference is the uh, class uh, that you are going to use, right? Uh, but if you are going to uh, convert from, for example, JPEG to PNG or in reverse, uh, uh, it, you cannot just uh, manually assign JPEG to PNG. Uh, it will not work. Uh, so uh, for example, this is the uh, JPEG to PNG, and what I do, I load JPEG into a JPEG object, then I assign that JPEG to bitmap, and then I uh, assign bitmap to PNG. So pretty much I'm using uh, a bitmap in between. So first I uh, 
I cannot, like I said, uh, convert uh, immediately from JPEG to PNG. So I first convert to bitmap and then I convert bitmap to PNG. And also uh, in, in, in reverse, first I uh, uh, convert PNG to bitmap and then I convert that bitmap to JPEG. So uh, running it again. Okay, so uh, I'll delete the PNG image here. And my idea is to convert this JPEG to um, PNG. If I click here. Okay, so I was successful in converting uh, JPEG to PNG. And also I can convert uh, PNG to JPEG. So I'll just delete this one. And again, file is created. So like I said, the process is really simple. Uh, if you are converting from bitmap, it's very easy. Just assign that bitmap to uh, uh, whether JPEG, uh, PNG, or TIFF. But if uh, you are converting, for example, from JPEG to uh, PNG, then first you need to convert to bitmap and then assign that bitmap, bitmap to PNG uh, and so on. So like I said, it's very simple and I hope uh, you will find it uh, useful in your applications. Thank you.